Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I would like to talk about how to post your questions in the Fusion 360 forum and how to create a screencast. It may sound a little bit silly about posting a question but it's not and I'm going to explain everything right away. First of course you log in into the forum and then you click on post to forums. Now let's just wait a second to it to it to open. Here we are. First thing first, you're gonna create a meaningful title, and that is very important. And it's um, kind of uh, obvious. Meaningful title. Next, we're gonna go into the description here. What you're gonna do is, of course, you can create hi all, and then you're gonna write a short description. And what I mean by that and why a short description. Now, if you're going to write a long description, and I've seen it many times, uh, we will have to read it a few times to understand exactly what you're asking, which means it's going to waste a lot of time. And I'm sure that when you're posting a question, you would like to get an answer as fast as possible. Okay, so this is one. Seconds, we are all very different people and we also have different mindset, which means we can risk uh, that one person is going to understand your question one way and another one is going to understand your question maybe a different way. And then we're going to start posting maybe uh, some solutions and you're going to get different kind of solutions. Sometimes it's okay because there are different way to, um, you know, to approach the same uh, issue. But sometimes we can risk that it's going to be way off and then you're going to have to explain yourself again and again. So um, yeah, this is also a, a good reason. And third, you have to remember that most of us, we are visual and we prefer to see something than just to read the text. Okay, because while you're trying to explain what is exactly what exactly you're trying to do, we are trying to build a mental picture in our head. But what is also it's going to be missing, it's the uh, overall picture of the, the whole project, what you're trying to do, okay? So uh, that's why it's better to write a short description of the, the problem or what you're trying to do. So then you're going to ask, okay, so what then? Next, what you need to do is a screencast. That is unfortunately something that not so many people are using. I'm not quite sure. I think I have an idea why they're not doing it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now how you create a screencast. And with screencasts, we, it's almost like we are sitting right beside you. And you're just going to show us exactly what you're going to uh, what exactly is your problem, you know, uh, what kind of project you're working on. So, and this is going to be visual for us and it's going to be much easier for us to understand. Okay, now let's dig in into the uh, how to create a screencast. I'm going to continue the explanation from there. If you don't have the Outdesk screencasts application installed, then it's very easy to find. You just go to Google and write a uh, Autodesk screencast and it's right here just click on it and then you click on download now choose the version that you uh, that you need Windows or Mac and just install it and it's pretty straightforward uh, installation and uh, there is really nothing um, yeah you need to configure over there when it's done you're gonna get this screencast a shortcut in your desktop all you gotta do is just double click on it this is the application now i want you to click on more uh, first thing i want you to make sure that you also have an audio and i'm guessing that probably some of you are gonna think oh uh oh i really hate my voice and you know what most of us we hate our voice i wish i had a voice like morgan friedman but i don't I accepted it it is what it is and some of you are going to say yeah but i have a really you know a deep accent so forget about it we to be honest we really don't care about it the only thing we hear is to help you okay so it's very important to add the the voice the explanation and as i mentioned before just imagine like we are sitting beside you okay and you're showing us 
what exactly that you that you need help with okay and if we are sitting beside you obviously you're going to speak to us yeah that's why the voice is also very important and when i'm doing videos and i'm explaining people what to do i'm not just showing the screen okay i'm also explaining exactly what i'm doing what's the solution and why to do it this way remember to make sure that you also have the audio is also ticked now over here you click on the drop down menu that is going to uh, basically you can choose lo to lock on what kind of application okay as you can see if i'm moving it over here it's going to lock in on the uh, on the uh, chrome browser so or you can just leave it and in the moment you if you for example we have a fusion uh, open and you're going to click record it's automatically gonna uh, focus on this window and it's going to start recording it and every time you're going to click on another window it's going to focus on that okay as you can see here automatically it's focused now on the Autodesk Fusion 360 because this is the active window this is basically what you have to do here now uh, in order to start and stop you can also go in here you can see the shortcuts it's control 9 to start recording or pause, or pause it and to stop it it's control F10 and this is it I'm going to start the uh, recording now and now you're gonna get this window just click on fix that's gonna make sure that it's got a good ratio okay so you click fix and I don't know you probably cannot see it but there is a red uh, frame around the around the Fusion 360 application that means that we are recording right now at this point uh, it's going to be also a really good idea <clears throat> to give us an an overall introduction to your project what exactly it's all about then you can start going more deeper about the parts that you're building and what exactly the issue is okay remember to explain exactly what is it that you want to do want to achieve uh, because that's going to help us to give you the best solution how to get it and then we can also see what you've tried to do and what kind of error or problem you're actually having this is it it's quite simple all you gotta do is uh, in the end it's just to hit again control f10 or just to bring up the screencasts uh, icon from the taskbar and then click on stop and now you're gonna get this window now some of you maybe it's going to be a little bit longer video because maybe you've made a mistake and you continue recording which is okay because you have the option over here to edit this video and it's very simple all you're going to do is let's just say you see i'm going through here and it's showing me what's going on on the screen so let's just say i want to remove this piece over here so what i can do is for example over here you put the start marker and then I want to all the way over here and then the stop marker and then we get the uh, the option right here to delete or insert silence if you coughed or something but click delete and that's it and that's how we can edit the the, the video that you had just recorded and you, when you're done you just hit on finish editing and then save to upload or you can also say disregard and record it again when you click on save to upload you get this window you give a description uh, you know a title and then you choose to share it with whom anyone so everyone can have access to this one or only people i choose uh, or only people with this link now it depends on the situation in most cases it's going to be anyone but if, if it's someone specific you want to send this video to then you can choose this one or if you make it in, even more restrictive then you can only people i choose i'm not going to show exactly how to do this one if you want to know let me know i'm going to make a new video now as i remember you also have to put a description over here from here we're just going to choose a, if, if you're a beginner just choose a beginner and 3d modeling and when you're done just hit the upload now it depends on the length of the video that you're creating one thing you have to remember the longer time the video is the longer time it's going to take the fusion server to prepare it 
right now it's gonna compile it locally in your machine then it's gonna upload it to Autodesk server and then in the server it's also gonna do some preparation and what's gonna happen next you're gonna get an email when it's ready if your video it's like two minutes then it's gonna be relatively fast few minutes but if it's gonna be more than that I don't know 10 20 minutes then it's gonna take longer time to the server to prepare it okay so the only thing you gotta do is wait for the email then you know that it's ready because if you're gonna send us the link before that we're not gonna be able to see anything wait for the email yep and that's it so I'm just gonna click go out from this one gonna disregard so now let's go back to to our post we got the email and in the inside the email you you will see this short we see let me just put it here for a moment you will see this shortcut okay this URL to the video and what you're gonna do with it you're just gonna put it over here okay next you're gonna do is click preview and let's see if it's gonna work it should work no but anyway for some reason it's not uh, working right now I think maybe I need to refresh the page but anyway it's gonna show you the um, the video over here after you clicked it uh, you know what just a second let me just try to refresh the page uh, up. so let's see if I can open it over here first So let's click this you let's take this URL instead. Yeah. So the small one you cannot use. I am sorry. You're gonna have to open it in another tab and then copy the full URL, okay? Like this. And click the preview, and now you can see it. And now um, under the description, just put the marker under the description and then click insert you're gonna see this one here below it you just put your signature and you're not gonna see the screencast here it's only after you click the post and you refresh the page and then you're gonna see the uh, the screencast as you can see it is very very simple it's really gonna help us to understand exactly what is it all about what exactly you're trying to do or what kind of problems you're facing all of us are going to be able to help you and give you the best support and it's going to be much much quicker also i hope you understand it don't be shy again forget about your voice how it sounds we really don't care about it and forget about the accent just speak slowly and clearly and of course show us so we can see and then we can uh, take it from there this is it for now Thank you for watching and if you have any questions just uh, let us know in the comment and we will do our best to help you. Take care. Bye-bye.